Hey YouTube, welcome back. This is Ricky with Shoe Monster Tech, and today we are looking at the CJRB Cultry uh, Rampart. Yes, indeed. Now this one here is the copper version, so very cool, right? I love me a little bit of copper. Um, but before we get into the nitty gritties and all the goodies, you guys go ahead and check out my Instagram page at Shoe Monster Tech. There you go. I like to give foreshadows of what I'm going to review. And if you guys want to uh, go ahead and support the channel, um, you guys can get one of these bad boys here. I'll leave my email down in the descriptions and uh, just hit me up and I'll get back with you. Cool. Also, um, I want to give a huge shout out to La Pyra Productions. There you go. Um, he actually sent me this coin here. This is a copper uh, version of his coin and it is sweet. Um, this is probably my favorite one yet. I love that copper. Looks real good. And plus, it matches uh, my copper pen. Um, this was sent to me by Wicked Pisser at Wicked Pisser. So go check him out on Instagram. Go check him out on Instagram. Um, very cool dudes, indeed. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we got a copper EDC here, right? The uh, only thing I'm missing now is a copper flashlight. I need to get one of those. All right, guys. Let's get into the specs of this knife. Um, overall length is 8.25 inches. Uh, blade length is three and a half inches. Blade width one inch even. Uh, blade thickness is uh, 0.125 inches. We do have D2 uh, steel for the blade material, and this is the Warncliffe uh, style blade. Uh, blade grind on here, it is flat. There you go. You can kind of check that out. The finish, it is stone wash, and we do have a plain edge type. Handle length is 4.75 inches. Handle width is 0.75 inches. Handle thickness is 0.52 inches. Uh, the material on this version here, it is copper. And uh, you do have stainless steel liners. The weight on here, yes, because it is uh, has that copper scales, is 5.95 ounces. Now the other version they have, um, I believe it's G10. Uh, you guys correct me if I'm wrong in the comments there but I believe that is a lot lighter than this knife here so the user on this guy here it is right hand uh, left hand uh, user so you can flip that change that pocket clip up to the other side so for you lefties out there yeah there you go uh, pocket clip it is tip up carry so if you slide it in your pocket um, your blade is going in the up direction and uh, yeah it is a flipper on this guy here and we do have a liner lock um, there you go so that's how you uh, close that. Um, <clears throat> now this does come from China and is considered an everyday carry knife. You do have a lanyard hole in the back and uh, it is almost a deep carry but not quite. You're going to have a little bit sticking up there out of your pocket. So yeah, that's that. All right. Well, let's do some size comparisons. Yes, this is a full size knife. Um, it's not small by any means, but it's not gigantic. Let's compare it to your Spyderco Para 3. So there you go. Um, yeah, definitely larger than that. Um, let's compare it to your Spyderco Paramilitary 2. It is closer to your PM2 as far as the handle goes and the blade goes. So yeah, there you go. That's a good size comparison, right? Um, and by the way, thanks for uh, thanks to Screaming Pirate. You can check out his Instagram page as well. He's the one that sent me this knife to check out, and he sent me another knife to check out too, so you guys will see that in the future. I'm not giving away what that knife is just yet, because it is a sweet knife for sure, and I appreciate you, uh, dude, for letting me check out those knives. Um, you know, that's awesome. People send me knives to uh, check out, you know, to review. You know, I send it back to them. It's, uh, you know, helps me bring the, the content to you guys um, out there. So thanks, thanks for everybody who uh, chips in on that, right? Awesome. Okay, so um, let's see, what else we got for size comparisons? Uh, we have our Ontario Rat 2. Um, so yeah, definitely larger than your Rat 2. And uh, what else we have? So your CRKT Pilar 3. And uh, where's my everyday carry Sharpie? I had it around here someplace, here it is. And uh, so everybody knows the size of a Sharpie, right? Yeah, sure. Um, so that's that and it's uh, let's look at it in closed so you see how far down it sits in your pocket there you go now this knife here I actually purchased um, because I was I love the looks of it and it's you know it's all copper and you can tell I've had it for a little bit now um, I've been <laughs> needing to review this knife for quite a while um, but yeah it's definitely got the the patina on there um, already heading that way so it looks great so that's that. What are my thoughts on this knife, guys? I absolutely love it. I wish it weighed a little less, but you know what? <laughs> it is copper scale, so I knew it was going to be 
a little heavier of a carry so it doesn't really bug me that much um, so let's start with the handle I mean the handles great it looks good nice slim profile um, <clears throat> I would kind of wish the uh, they did something about those screws made them a little bit more recessed but hey not a big deal uh, purchase is good on this knife uh, and I love how you can choke up on it um, it's probably one of my favorite things about it besides the, <laughs> the copper scales but yeah um, very very nice they did add some jimping there on the spine on the blade so in that blade stock yeah it's a thicker blade stock so they did a very good job on that uh, and yes it did come centered um, actually it's a little off maybe a hair to the show side so not really a big deal um, the action on this knife uh, is nice though you saw it right there I wish they would add a little bit something some jimping right here on that flipper because there's been times where yeah it slips off uh, yeah, but the, besides that, the action is great on this knife. It does drop shut. I mean, I figured it would because, I mean, it's a heavier blade. It's a big blade. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to drop shut on you. Um, yeah, price point on this guy here. I uh, found it on Blade HQ. I paid for, what was it, uh, $55, $56, something like that. MSRP on it is basically, it's $75. Now, it is, uh, I believe, more expensive than their uh, standard version uh, just because of the copper scales. And, of course, you get your D2 uh, your d2 blade there so um yeah i love the looks of it very simple um i love how they got the angle there on the back uh, makes it look real slick very nice i do like how they um you know they thought about the left hand carriers there for so for you like lefties out there um <clears throat> yeah you can carry this knife with ease um the liner works real well um that you know it's very accessible you can see they did they milled out just a little bit there and uh yeah you can get to that liner lock very easily so uh yeah good job right so that's my thoughts on this knife guys what do you guys think um what do you guys do you guys like copper knives uh do you like cjrb knives throw it down in the comments let me know and uh yeah smash that like button and uh subscribe to my channel if you guys like what you see and uh for you guys that have subscribed thank you guys so much you guys are awesome and that's gonna be it for today all right bye